Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Symmetrans. Today's topic is Signal System. Last time we built two transporting system for train, each running one train each. That was to save money and start generating money by transporting coal to the power plant. Today should we upgrade this system step by step so you see different type of train system. All from the most simple one we have now up to the advanced mainline system. We have now moved between the power plant and the mine. And if we take a look here, we see one major problem. We climb a hill unnecessary. So we should build one embankment here and we should increase the capacity on this track by introducing a side track that the train can sit and wait for another train. So we can operate it two train on this line and thereby increase the capacity theoretically by doubling the capacity. However, we have something to take into consideration. We will probably run our train to the fourth power plant along this line. That means we need to take into consideration this small lake. So we will probably have the main line somewhere between here and that also decide where we should build our railway. But take notice down here we have around 220,000 and now it start to be expensive because every time I do this it's go money. But that is the price we pay to increase the capacity of the system and building a more advanced, more high capacity train system. We have not introduced the signal yet and I should simply build place for one track at the moment. So I come back when I finish with the hill. All right, welcome back. I'm now finished with this embankment and it's time to lay the truck. The truck is very easy. As you see, it's only drag and drop. It's simply the planning, which are a little tricky. Ah, not exactly what I want. Now we have a little problem here. This train have entered the old line and allocated the track. So this thing we need here is to move the traffic from the old track to the new. But that is actually very simple. We have only one train. So we delete this part of the track and simply let the train rolling. And after it has left the old track, we can remove the old track and they will start driving the traffic on the new one. Hey, come on. But that not increase the capacity of the system, it only move the track to a new higher. So alright, it's increased the capacity a little. So we should build a little more embankment here. 
we should build a side track. I count how long this track is because that is important if we want to avoid deadlock. A train need to be able to stop inside these two box so they can pass this shower. We see first that the track is free and it is, there is no allocation. So the idea is that the train from here should roll this way and train coming from the other direction should rolling in here. And if the truck, the single truck is not free, they simply sit here and wait. To achieve this you need two different type of signal. A signal can you build in several ways. The most simple is to click one time and you get the signal in two directions. If you click one more time, you get the signal in one direction. And if you want click and one more time, you change direction again. However, the most simple way to actually get one direction signal, which also block train in the other direction is to click on the track and drag one step ahead. I should remove this signal. And we should build one more signal here. So why we not build next signal there? We should, but we should have another type of signal. This signal is a two block signal. That means you need have two signal free in front. This special signal are used in this type of boxes and in crossing. So we place this signal here to guarantee that no train allocated a single track or a crossing. We have around 200,000 when we started. We are already down to 100,000. This is why you should be very careful when you're building train system. Let us now Take a look on this simple system, which now have increased capacity. Allocation is turned on. Now the train not allocated the whole track up to the mine. It allocated to this signal. And when it comes closer, it will allocate this track. And after that, it allocates the track up to the mine. So this system now works. I have now built one more train and we should see how this system work in practice. So you don't need to make any experimental yourself. So I send out this train and we can now see that this train have allocated the track to the mine and this train waiting to come out. Speed this thing up a little. There we have allocation for the train coming from the mine down. And now will the train coming out of depot allocated the track up to the mine and we have two trains. train coming from the mine and now the train coming from the power plant.
this train enter its box here and we'll stop and wait for the other train as we plan. And now the truck is free and the train will start rolling again. This train have no train to wait on, so they simply roll through the box. That is a little more complicated system, which can increase the capacity of the transporting. So I will do the same on the other line too, because I want to get more money. We should roll more than one train. And that means we need dual track the whole way. Let us now take a closer look how well this system actually work. We take a look on this line first and after that that line. I build a part of dual track or a side track so they can pass each other and we see it work actually pretty well. The two train meet on this dual truck part. So here the system work perfectly. It is equivalent to having the dual track for this two train. Let us now take a look how it is up at the other track. The both train are now heading one to the mine and one to the power plant. Here they come. This train will this time enter the box before the other train. This box is also smaller than the other box because of I save money here. And there the train waiting. That means we losing money on this train because it's sitting idle. And this is also the problem with this solution. It can be inefficient. But you save money when you build the system. And sometimes it works well and sometimes it not working well because of cost cutting like this. We have in the previous episode calculated and know we need five train to fill the capacity of the power plant. We can build more boxes, but that is an inefficient solution. Power plant use so much coal they need dual track up to the plant. And that means that it's time to introduce a new type of railway system. The dual track system, the mainline system and so on. If you have play Transport Tycoon Deluxe, you're probably familiar with the train system. However, the allocation of track and finding the route through the system in Transport Tycoon Deluxe is very, very simple. That is not the case in Simitrans. So the main line system work very, very well in Simitrans. And that is also one of the more cheaper way to build a railway system. To build high capacity dual track system. System which have one direction on each track and short distance between the signal. But they are expensive. But they can generate it a lot of money if you can fill the capacity. That was everything I have to show you. 
Thanks for watching and have a nice day. In the next episode, we start to convert the system to a dual track system with the train rolling. And we start around the mine that the problem are the biggest. <laughs>